Hello friends, this is Dr. R.B. Kusoha, Associate Professor in the Division of Veterinary Clinical Complex at MVSNH Scott Jammu RS Pura. Welcome to my YouTube channel and if you are new to my channel, so kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for further notification. Uh, today we have a case of uh, distal one third diaphyseal fracture of the right tibia in a adult stray dog. So the history of this dog that uh, the dog had the fracture uh, three days back probably by uh, stick injury. So we took the radiograph, we come to know that uh, this is the distal one third transverse fracture. So if the fracture uh, is transverse uh, and in two pieces uh, in case of tibia, so I used to prefer the, the close reduction with normal grade intramilitary pinning. So you could see here, so this is this one is the 4.5 mm steel man pin. So I have just performed this procedure. The most important part uh, in doing the normal grade pinning with close reduction is the identification of the, the point from where the pin is to be inserted. So this one is the cranial tibial tuberosity or anterior tibial tuberosity. This one is the medial tibial tuberosity and this one is the air in the patella. So normally when we feel this one too, so when we glide our thumb, so here you will find the depression. So th this is the basically side for insertion of the pin. So first we pass the pin in the proximal fracture fragment and then we reduce the this distal one and then advance the remaining uh, pin into the distal segment. So now uh, we have just taken the radiograph and by the radiograph it revealed that the pin has uh, gone inside the distal uh, segment uh, appropriately so we have taken the both view lab medial lateral as well as the anterior posterior view so by both view it revealed that the uh, placement of pin is correct so now this extra portion so we cut from the hair with the pin cutter and then we go for the uh, robertson bandaging so if the such type of fracture if you find so you can also try with the, this because the advantage of this is that the healing definitely will be faster as compared to the open reduction and the normal grade pinning. Pinning is always in normal grade in case of the tibia. It is only that retrograde you can perform in case of the femur bone as well as in case of the humerus. So this is all about this uh, procedure. So I have already uploaded a few video on this procedure so you can also watch those videos. So thank you very much for watching this video and if you are new to, to my channel so kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification. Thank you very much.